Welcome back. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, has asked the University of Lagos alumni to continue in the efforts to serve the institution in various capacity and the nation at large. Professor Oshibajo, who was speaking at the Golden Jubilee Awards and Gala Night of the University of Lagos Alumni Association, also eulogized the members of the association who have gone on to impact the nation in their area of endeavor. Make no mistakes about this gathering made up of presidents of political titan, successful business moguls, captains of industry, and of course, alumnus of the institution regarded as the university of first choice. Now you know, it's the Golden Jubilee Awards and Gala Night to climax activities of the University of Lagos Alumni Association. The evening is equipped with the trappings of a class event. Four governors, the Speaker, House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, the Vice President, who shares his joy of being a distinguished alumnus under the leadership of its president, Dr. John Momo. It's very clear that Unilag stands out in every possible way. We've heard that we have over seven, I think seven or eight governors are from this university. In fact, the number of senators, when I heard the number, I was quite shocked. But it appears that we have at least one third of the Senate who are alumni of the University of Lagos. Now that is absolutely incredible. And the House of Representatives as well, I'm told we have almost a hundred members of the House of Representatives who are also alumni. And of course, we have the Right Honorable Speaker himself, who is an alumnus of our great university. So we're everywhere. And I think that what the future calls for is for us to dedicate ourselves to the service of this great institution to ensure that this great institution becomes greater and greater still. Thirteen personalities got the Distinguished Alumni Awards with four governors in that category. Six accomplished individuals received the Special Recognition Award. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, got the Special Guest of Honor Award. Highlight of the evening was a cutting of the anniversary cake. Oh, congratulations. Unilag like alumni at 50, congratulations. Thank you. It's time now for sports news. Here's Ayotunde Balogu. Thank you so much, Amarachi. Nigeria Professional Football League side Aqua United FC have officially unveiled former Golden Eaglets coach John Obu as the team's new head coach. The former Quarry United tactician was unveiled by the Promise Keepers this morning in Uyo alongside his assistant, Duke Udi. He will be in charge for the 2019-20 NPFL season as Aqua Bomb State-owned club set sight on returning to continental football. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, says it has quizzed the former Secretary General of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, AFN, Mr. Amechi Akau, who was arrested last week but is now released. Mr. Akau was picked up over allegations of misappropriation of $130,000 belonging to the International Association of Athletics Federation, IAAF. And Romania's Simona Halep needed to save match a point in the second set before going on to beat the U.S. Open winner Bianca Andreescu 3-6-7-6-6-3 at the WTA Finals. In the pair's first ever meeting, four unanswered games saw Andreescu take the opener 6-3 before Halep took the second set 8-6 via a tiebreaker on her third set point, having earlier saved a match point off her racket. Six, 
And moving on, Elena Svitolina got the defense of her WTA Finals title after the perfect start with a 7-6-6-4 victory over the second seed Karolina Pliskova in Shenzhen, China. The Ukrainian saved the set point on Pliskova's serve before converting her seventh to take the opening set 14-12 in a tiebreaker. And that's wrap in sports news. I'm Ayotun De Balogun. Back to you. Thanks again, Ayotun De. And the main news again. No fewer than 100 persons have been killed following the outbreak of a strange infectious disease in Katsina State. About 1,000 others who are infected are being monitored closely. Also today, the Governor's Forum declared that each state will have to determine its plan for the payment of the new minimum wage in line with their internally generated revenue. And British Prime Minister Boris Johnson again lost votes in Parliament on whether or not to hold an early election in December. That's the news of 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.